Hello scholars. Okay, so today we're looking at page 11 on our recorder um, and we actually have a new note. So if you look at the top of page 11, our new note is going to be C, which is thumb and middle finger. Now, before we move on to page 11, don't forget that page 10 um, is a review page. So you do want to do that. I would love to have you take a picture of what you do and then um, send me you know your picture copy of your written work so this is what it should look like in your book and if you could just take a picture of your answers and then send it to me um, i would be happy to tell you if they're correct or not um, but everything on page 10 review uh, should be all the stuff that you know all the same stuff that we've been working on okay so now we're on page 11 and we're looking at the letter c and the letter c i'm just going to show you my copy so you can see here uh, for the letter C, it is on the third space of the staff. So one, two, three, third space, okay? Um, so because it's on the third space, I like to remember the fingering as um, using, even though we're not counting our thumb and our fingers on this one, I always think, oh, this is one, two, three, third fingering for C. That's just how I do it. You don't have to do it that way if you don't want to. So C looks like this. Um, let me just play G, A, B, and then C so you can hear it. So here's G. And then here's A, B, C. So there's your C. Okay. And then going down. All right. So that's your C fingering. Um, number one is played two times and it's all C's. So let's just finger and say, um, and then we'll have you play. One, two, finger and say. C, two, C, two, C, two, three, four. C, two, C, two, C, two, three, four. Okay, this time let's play it. One, two, ready, go. That's number one. Number two, it's quarter notes, still a C, but now we're doing quarter notes and half notes and a whole note. Let's say it and finger it. One, two, ready, go. C, 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 two, C, two, C, 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 two, three, four. Okay, let's play. One, two, ready, go. Okay, so now that we have C down, we're going to look at number three, which is mixing C and A. As you can tell, all you have to do for A is just put your pointer finger down. Okay, so um, this one does not repeat itself. It's just one time through, but it is two lines. So let's go ahead and speak it and say it. One, two, ready, go. C, two, A, two, C, two, three, four. C, two, A, two, C, two, Three, four. C, A, C, A, C, two, three, four. C, A, C, A, C, two, three, four. Okay, let's go ahead and play it. One, two, ready, go. Hopefully that went well. Okay, number four is Indian Chant. And this has all the notes except for, I don't see a B in there. So it looks like it's going to be C, A, and G. Let's go ahead. This one is played twice. Um, so let's just finger through it once and then we'll play it the second time. One, two, fingering only. C, two, A, two, C, A, A, two, A, two. G two, A G A two, C two, A two, C A A two, A two, G two, A G A two. Okay, let's play it. One, two, ready, go.
Okay, now that one I will play twice through when I play the piano accompaniment version. So if you want to play it both times without stopping, go ahead and play with that for sure, and then you'll get it two times without stopping. Okay, last one, number five, is air control. And we kind of got into this um, when we first were playing our instruments. Uh, part of the fun with this is to see how long you can hold your breath. And I was making a game out of it where we would play in the class and see who could blow the longest. Um, since we're not in the classroom, what I would recommend you do is set up a stop watch or even just look at your camera, um, not camera, your clock, <laughs> and um, watch the second hand and um, just see how long you can hold the note for. Uh, for those that are brand new to playing recorder or any instrument that's windblown, um, it is a little bit harder to hold your breath, so just kind of be aware of that. Uh, it takes time, and um, you're building a muscle in your body, um, so you're not going to be able to hold your breath for super long to start with, but the more you do this, um, the easier it will be. And this is basically like those that do swimming, uh, especially those that compete in swimming. You guys know that you have to often do exercises where you're holding your breath under the water. And the first time you do it, it's hard, it's not fun, um, but the more you get used to it, the more it becomes fun and challenging, okay? So, this is what we're going to do. Um, the notes that we're supposed to be playing for five are G, A, B, and C. Um, and since it's just me playing, I'm just going to play those notes as long as I can. And you can play with me, and we'll see between you and I who could play longer, okay? Um, all right, so... As always, you want to make sure you breathe in nice and deep and then let the air out. Breathe in nice and deep and then let the air out. One more time and let the air out. By doing that, you're opening up your lungs and your diaphragm and you're making room inside of your body for the air. Your um, diaphragm is like a balloon and so you want the more you stretch it out, the more you could get more air into it. So let's do one more nice deep breath and let it out. Okay. The other key to this is keeping your body as still as possible because you want all the energy that you have going into holding the note as long as you can, not into wiggling or moving. All that little bit of energy that you spend on other movement um, will waste what you could be spending on holding your breath. Okay. So that's key. All right. So G, you and I, here we go. So here's our fingering. On the count of three, we're going to blow and let's see how long you could go for. One, two, three. Okay, so I basically just stopped when I felt like my um, sound wasn't going to sound good anymore. Um, that's kind of key in music. You don't want to like keep blowing till you sound horrible. That's not the point. Um, it's not literally till you're to the very last breath because usually by that point you don't sound very good with your notes. So you want to go only until you feel like you still have a good quality note. And then at that point, be done. Okay, so here's A. Let's take another couple more deep breaths. And out. And in, and out, and in. Okay. I'll say one, two, three, and then let's go. You might notice I go one, two, three, and then I kind of, and then go. That's just the conductor in me. That's just how we do it. So just wait till you hear me blowing. Once I blow, you blow. Okay. All right. One, two, oh, sorry, letter A. One, two, three. wish you could see my stomach you know what I'm gonna lower you just a little bit more because as I'm blowing out you should see this area kind of getting loosey-goosey like a balloon and then when I'm sucking in my air 
it's filling up like a balloon okay and yes i know we've talked about this before it's weird looking at your stomach but that's what we do in music okay let's see if any of you any of you could beat me doing b okay so here's b nice deep breath in let it out see that bagginess i was talking about breathe in let it out make it baggy breathe it in and out okay so notice when my air um when i run out of air you should start seeing my shirt get a little baggier because that means my stomach is compressed in and all the air that i have left is out okay okay so here's b breathe in one two ready go too bad and hopefully you saw my shirt going um getting this kind of wrinkly so you could see that my air is going um i was just thinking as i was playing that b something else to be aware of is your shoulders sometimes when we're breathing and we're not used to breathing from our diaphragm um we sometimes breathe from our lungs and the lungs kind of bring up the shoulders like this and yes we are using our lungs still in this but we're also using our diaphragm which is down in our stomach area so we don't want to use just our lungs and if you're only using your lungs half the time it means that when you take your breath in the shoulders go up like you just saw me do and then the shoulders go down you don't want that if anything you want to keep the shoulders down as much as possible and keep all that air filling up here the only reason is um you just don't get as much air if you're just using your lungs so you also want to use the diaphragm um, and like i mentioned with the energy um, if you're raising your shoulders that waste energy you really want to keep the energy from here all the way out your mouth and that's the only spot you don't want to be moving anywhere else okay so let's do our last one which is c remember if you have any squeaking issues it might be because you're not completely covering the hole so cover the hole take a look at your finger make sure that little indentation is in the middle of your finger somewhere okay okay so here we go deep breath in let it out in let it out one more time let it out good okay so here is c last deep breath in ready play I try to push myself on that one and go even further. Okay, so that is all of page 11. Um, I hope that helped to see my diaphragm and what I was doing with my breathing. Um, be sure you look at the company uh, video I'm going to send with this so then you could play through one, two, three, four. Um, I don't think the accompaniment version has air control on it um, just because, as you can see with air control, it's really about holding your breath. So, for the company version, it'll just have one, two, three, and four on there. And I will do the repeats on one, two, and four, but not on three because there isn't one. All right, till next time, I hope you guys enjoy page 11, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.